we certainly will never say that it's MacGruber's swan song because <laughs> we, we'll, like with, at least with me and, and Yorma and John, we'll always want to keep doing this until we're, you know, until we're in the grave. Middle space. The rebels attack and then the other side attacks as well. Yes. Hilarious audible series. <laughs> um, uh, I've binged most of the show. I, I think I'm only like a handful of episodes from the end. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, and you play Captain Cottonhammer. Yes. Captain Cottonhammer. So what I would love is for you to kind of give me your it's interpretation. So funny to hear that because I was, there was, I think my name originally was Sway Clifton. George, yes. George Sway Clifton. And then at the very end, that. we had to do a couple. It, it got changed to Cotton Hammer, which <laughs> I do love. It's a pretty great name. I mean, if we're oh, yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. Um, what is your interpretation of Captain Cotton Hammer? Because I know that you listen as a listener uh, or the audience, you know, we get an idea of him. But you as the, the life of the character, what, what is your intention with Captain Cotton Hammer? Definitely my intention before, go, like, like I, the, Paul Lieberstein is the funniest dude around. I was always a huge Office fan. And so I was really excited to read this. Um, I was going away to New Zealand to do uh, a part in that, that show Sweet Tooth. So I had very little time really and I was thinking oh I don't think I have time to do anything but I love Paul I'm a huge fan of the office my my wife is a crazy office fan so we we had been watching a ton of office of the office and in, in the house over the shutdown and I was like I gotta I gotta read this because I'm sure it's awesome and of course I mean it's one of the funniest things I've ever read and what a dipshit I am in it the, the character I get to play it was like oh I, ha I have to do this it was just so so it's just such a fun character and and I mean a fun character among a million fun characters it's just so well written and just and and I was like I gotta I gotta do this and so I what do I think he I I mean this is a guy who just kind of lives in his own world, obviously. Um, uh, you know, uh, doesn't really realize what he's saying a lot of the time. I, I like to think he doesn't realize what he's saying because there, he's just so oblivious so much of the time. And, and, and uh, it's, I don't know, it's just a very fun character because he's kind of in, in these moments he can, then every once in a while be a little fragile and but but it's for the most part he's just goes through life kind of oblivious and and uh as somebody who goes through life on the other the other side of the spectrum i i think i care a little bit too much about you know i i well i won't say too much about but i do care about offending people i don't want to say anything and i you know uh, i'm sure that i don't hit the mark all the time i'm sure i offend people at times but but it's it was, it's really fun to play something that's and and say have words coming out of your mouth that are the things that you would never ever say in your normal life which i guess you get to do a lot as an actor but like this is a very extreme version of that <laughs> yeah i mean there's there's definitely some pretty outlandish moments and uh, I get a kick out of the fact that like he really doesn't want to, he doesn't really want to be doing what he's doing or it feels very much like that. He's yeah. at one point decides he's going to start running. He wants to run a burger joint. Like, <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, but it all somehow makes sense. It's, it's, I mean, it is such a collection of just crazy concepts that all seem to work together and flow together because Paul's just such an amazing writer. And of course, then you have all these monstrously talented people doing the roles. I'm, I'm not including myself in that. I'm I mean, not that I am down on myself sure. as a performer. Sure. I'm just not throwing myself a huge compliment, but like, you know, all the other people, it was, so, it was so fun to do this. Cause I, you know, some of the, uh, 
I don't remember how early I was cast in the process, but I know that there were other roles that had not been cast yet. And so as, as we were recording, we, you would hear the other people that were gonna be involved and it was really, really fun to, to think about them in those roles. I was, uh, it's funny that you mentioned that because one of the things that I was, uh, had on my sort of list of, of questions was the moments between like you and Sherry O'Terry are just absolutely fantastic. Maybe like my favorite part of the whole thing or just like the, the, like the, the dialogue between the two of you. Um, did you guys get to do that back and forth or did one of you record and the other react? No, I never, uh, well, I mean, it was, it would have been tough to do that just because it was, everyone was recording from home and, and it was, it was, uh, during, during, uh, lockdown. So no, we, we never got to record it, uh, together. They, they had this awesome actor come in to, that I got to read, read lines with, and he was really good about jumping around doing all the different characters. It was, so it was, but but it, but it you know certainly it, it would have been fun to have gotten to do that with Sherry she's so so funny, um, but but no we sadly did not ever get to do anything uh, together. Well, that's a bummer. Maybe maybe sometime in the future you guys will get to do some more back and forth. I, I don't think yeah. you guys were on you guys were not on SNL at the same time, right? She left nope. before you joined, right? We were not on. Yeah, she was gone by the time I came in. Uh, we we had both come up through the groundlings but again she had left to go to snl before i got into the main stage at snl so there, really i think the only thing that we i i think we worked on was it sit down shut up there was a show that we did together um the, an animated show and i think it was uh, mitch Hurwitz, sit down shut up shut up sit down no sit down shut up uh so so i got to meet her and and uh, fan fanboy out a little bit, but she's, I mean, she's just, she's one of the funniest there is. So, so, uh, you know, to, if we ever get a season two out of this, uh, does that, is that what happens for audible stuff? I, I'm, I'm kind of new to audible. Is that? Yeah, I don't know. You know multiple seasons if we ever do I, hopefully we will. I, get hey, I hope so. I'm, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. I'm going to do everything I can. <laughs> <laughs> the hashtag renew middle space. We just need to get that trending. Awesome. That's that's what you do these days. You just got to get the hashtag trending. <laughs> um, so I think one of the things about middle space that's interesting is a, a very clear sort of Star Trek homage. I mean, I think with really any sci-fi story these days, it's hard not to find those comparisons. So yeah. here is a question that I thought I wanted to ask you. Which Star Trek captain do you think Cottonhammer is most like? Because I know what I think, but I'd like to know what you think. You know, I'm, yeah, I don't want to upset you. I don't know Star Wars that, or uh, Star Trek to Star Wars. Sure. Uh, that, was, that was a Freudian slip. Um, I, I don't know it that well. So, so the, uh, the, and for sure, the main series that I followed was, uh, uh, was the original yeah but but I don't even know that that well I, <laughs> I love Shatner I love Shatner so they're for sure I, yep. I, I have a feeling that because I do I you know I know that then there's Picard and then mm -hmm. uh, who, who else is there that there's like Janeway you got what Captain Pike you know a couple couple of them out, out there I, do you hate me? I, I, I think, I think, I think Kurt makes the most sense. I, I mean, because of the, yeah, I think I have a feeling that would have been my answer, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to bullshit you and pretend that. I, <laughs> no, so you're good. Make it make I, uh, an uneducated answer, but. but <laughs> no. Well, I think it's, I think it's the, it's the wild card quality. You know what I mean? You, at any given moment, you never knew what Kirk was going to do. I mean, he was a total wild card. Yeah. Cotton hammer is very much like that. Oh yeah. 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 He's a, he's, I mean, it was just was so much fun to do this. And it, it was in the, in the beginning, uh, because I had to go to New Zealand, we had to do them pretty, pretty in a, in a pretty uh, fixed period of time. And, and which meant for um, some long 
recording days, which which my uh, agents were were warning against because they were saying, oh, do you really want to spend? I think we were planning on doing seven hour days, which, you know, that's not a in, in a typical job. That's not a crazy day. But but uh, obviously, you know, I'm not and I'm not saying that this is really hard work you know it's you get to talk into a microphone but really like there's just after a while you you know you can it, it's so important what your voice sounds like and and that you have a, a consistent amount of energy throughout and I said well I was like I just we have to do it in this in in these long hours and it was the time flew so by because that writing was so funny that it just was a constant treat to get to do it. It really, it's just so well written, and I, I really, uh, you know, it, 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 it was such a no brainer when I first got it. Like, oh, I got to do this, and 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 I really, you know, get excited about the the thought of working with Paul again because he's just he's a very gifted writer. I completely agree. I mean, you guys crafted a fantastic series here. It's really, really fun to listen to. Um, um, I know that our time is going to come down to the wire here soon. I just have a couple more things. So yeah, I, I'd well, love I'm, to ask I'm, you. I think I, I don't worry about the, the time. I think I have, <laughs> I mean, I have to do something in a, a little bit, but I, I do have a little, I don't have to be hard out at 1255 or anything. So. All right. Well, I would love to ask about MacGruber if that's okay. Uh, you know, sure. as a as a big fan of of the the show and uh, the the bit and then the movie and all that, uh, very excited about the show. Um, um, what can what 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 can we expect from MacGruber the show? I mean, is this is this MacGruber's is this his swan song or could there? I mean, be that's, more? we certainly. We'll never say that it's MacGruber's swan song because, we, we'll, like, with at least with me and and Yorma and John, we'll always want to keep doing this until we're you know until we're in the grave, uh, <laughs> kind of out of our hands. It's it's more just if somebody will let us continue making them because we 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 love working with each other. We're like brothers, and then with the uh, obviously working with uh, Wig and Philippi. Uh, is is you know they feel like family uh, in the same way and and it's just really fun to do it and then we got to introduce a bunch of new people to the series this uh, you know uh Lawrence Fishburne somehow is doing it Sam Elliott somehow is doing it Billy Zane is in there uh, this awesome guy Joseph Lee Anderson who's an amazing actor he's he's in there and, and just a bunch of other people so it's we hey we We'll we'll keep going as long as they'll let us. But but uh, you know we're we're excited for people to see it. It 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 feels very much like it's it's in the same tone as the movie, and it it you know same. I, I think people who who did like the movie will will enjoy this, and we're you know we're hoping other people like it too. Um, but but uh, you know our 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 first our first order of business was let's make sure that we do something that people who like the movie, you know, let's not try to shoot for a bigger audience. Let's just, you know, stay true to the MacGruber template that we created from the movie. And, and uh, you know, if we can pull other people in, uh, you know, then great. But if not, as long as we make sure that we ourselves like it and are proud of it and that, you know, and that people who, who did like the movie, like it, then, then we'll have done our job. And I, I, and, and I, where I, I do know the, you know, the one part of it is that, that I do know is that we, we are happy with how it turned out. Certainly there are little things, you know, Oh, we didn't get this shot because we ran out of time. It was a very ambitious production schedule and we couldn't get all the fun, fancy shots that would have made it even cooler. But like, we're, we're pretty excited for people to see it. We're proud of it. And, and I, I, I have a feeling that people like who liked the movie will, will like this series as well. It's, it's the same disgusting <laughs> story. It's, 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 it's fun. 
Well, I, I mean, I, I hope that that Ryan ends up in some similarly awkward and uncomfortable predicaments as he did in the, in the movie. <laughs> so, maybe me with some, his, of like, part. some of my favorite lines are him just going, huh? <laughs> oh. Yeah, great. Yeah, I, there's just but the way he just his delivery. He's he just is so perfect for that role, and this whole. This whole show does not work without him because he needs to be, you know, we need that, we need that person who represents the people watching who are like, you idiots, you know, we need, and he's, he's that guy and he just, he does does it so well and he's so selfless in his performance and he's just, I mean, without him, this whole thing, you know, I think people would get pretty tired of, of me pretty quickly and and you know wig and i both just get to be crazy because ryan is uh is playing just such an amazing straight man and and it's it's uh it's great uh, well i'm excited for it i know uh, all the other movie Uber fans out there are excited for it as well <laughs> um um the last thing that i want to mention is i i mean your background there wolf oh. from the great north yeah, yeah so i uh when i i you know, I told, I, I found out that I was going to be getting a chat with you just the other day. And I, you know, I told my wife and she was like, oh my gosh, it's exciting. So I told my kids and they were like, oh, okay, who, who's that? And I was like, well, you know, Will Forte, Saturday Night Live, MacGruber. Like, yeah. And I was like, Wolf from the Great North. And they were like, yes, they got so excited because we are a Great North family. That is one of the, it's next, it's like Bob's Burgers and 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 uh the lego the lego show that 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 will arnett hosts and and great north oh. those are like the only three shows that like we watch as a family oh that's awesome. and i was i'm curious like do you find that uh that that you're maybe a little more recognized for some of your voice roles these days than some of the like live action stuff you've done yeah i mean cer- uh, certainly um i t- you know i don't get a lot of I- i'm not when I walk out on the streets, it's certainly not a Beatles situation. <laughs> I don't have to run away from masses of adoring fans. Every once in a while, somebody will come up, but it's, it's a delight when, you know, you're the, um, I, I actually, the reason I have the, the uh, background up is I just, we just did a table read right before I talked to you. So, oh, cool. Um, so, but it's, it's just so fun because animated shows, you're, 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 you are a lot of times, and especially during COVID, they mailed us uh, recording equipment so that we just do it from home now. So we'll do all the table mm-hmm. reads from home, and so so it's it's a it's kind of a an isolated experience. And you can almost sometimes you just it's 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 it can go by so quickly that you kind of forget that you're even a part of it like you know and and so it's it's so fun to because it reminds you when when people say oh i've been watching the great north you're like oh great it's connecting you because i'm just kind of i mean COVID, i think is that way with everybody you're just kind of living in your own bubble for a while and and i don't know i lose touch with the outside world so it's it's so i'm so happy to hear that you guys are liking it because i i love the show and i'm and i'm uh, you know, it's it's such a good group, and I've my wife and I have always been huge Bob's Burgers fans. I mean, just huge fans of it, and and so you know, this this is so much of that team that that was at Bob's, and and some of the them still are at Bob's, and just you know, it's that same awesome group of that Bob's family that's doing it. So it's it's just a really fun group to work with. They're just wonderful and funny and super professional and respectful. It's just an awesome, awesome place to work. So, so uh, thank you for watching the show. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, thank you. Wolf, thank I you. will. I will. I, uh, if you'll notice our, our elf on the shelf is over here on the side and that's, that's my kids is, and it, you know, oh. it magically scampered up the uh, shelf there. So, uh, <laughs> You know, I just, uh, I'm, I, I kind of know a little bit about Elf on a Shelf, uh, but, but I just had, I just had a baby, I, like a nine and a 
half month old little girl now. And, and so these are all things that I'm starting to finally learn about. Like they've just been phrases that I'm aware of, but I don't really know. So the, so the elf magically moves during the night and they're always it, wondering where he shows up next. That is, yep. That's a story. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, really that's, that's how it goes, you know? And so, when does it start? De- December 1st? Uh, yes. Uh, I believe that's the time that it is supposed to start is December 1st. And uh, till, then, till Christmas. you know, every day for, yeah, until Christmas, the elf has to come up with new ways to be uh, or new things to get into, if you will, yeah. you know. So that's uh, that's kind of Wait, fun. How, but congratulations. How old are your kids? So uh, my youngest is eight. And then I have a 10 year old and a 14 year old. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. And so uh, it is, it's quite the, quite the packed uh, household. <laughs> Wait, where do you but live? congratulations. Where do you live? I live in Oregon. I live in uh, Eugene, Oregon, about an hour and a half, two hours south of Portland. Okay. Sorry, I know yeah. I'm turning this around on you. This is, I mean. Yeah, I'm getting interviewed. I was born on a dark and stormy night. <laughs> um, well, listen, it has been an absolute honor to get to talk with you today, sir. I really appreciate you taking the Thank time. you. Thank it's you great so to talk to you, too. Thanks for helping us spread the, the word about Middle Space. It's Absolutely. Tired. It's on Audible right now. All the episodes for season one are up, right? The whole, the whole thing is up yeah. right now. And if you've got Audible, you can go and listen to Middle Space right now. And I highly encourage anyone watching to do it because it's absolutely hilarious. Um, Will, thank you very much. I'm going to let you go about your day. It's been awesome talking to you, sir. Thank you. Great to talk to you. And I hope to talk to you you in the future.